Hello, my lovelies. Today I have a mini mail time for you. So stay tuned. So this should be a relatively quick video. I don't have a huge amount of mail, but I did want to go ahead and do a little mini mail time here with you and show you what all has come in. This will probably be the last one of these mail times I film before I leave for my trip. Uh, so let's get to opening. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this big obnoxious box. So this was something that I ordered from Amazon. And the item in this gigantic box takes up about a quarter of this box. It's ridiculous. Like the item is only like this long and it's only like that big. Um, hold on. This is what was inside of that gigantic box. So this is a collapsible travel uh, dog bed, like an elevated dog bed. So I have three regular elevated dog beds right now in my living room, but they're not something that's easy to take apart and put together or would easily, even in any, like all of its parts, be able to easily fit in the suitcase that I'm planning on bringing for Snicker when we go on our trip. But this, this is very small and will fit in the suitcase no problem. And he needs a place to place. <laughs> um, so he goes and this is, when he's on the elevated bed, that's where he goes if he wants to just, I need him to place and need him to get somewhere and be still. Or if um, when I'm feeding him, I feed them on their place. And so <laughs> Einstein and Snicker are both hearing me say place, so they're in their places right now. Uh, but this is, I, I need something like that for traveling. So I got this. And this literally, like, I'm not gonna pull it out right now, but it kind of like opens and closes much like a camping chair or something. So I thought this was perfect. Okay, next up is my Sip Spy box for the month. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to have quite the collection of Sip Spy boxes waiting for me when I get home because I'm not going to be filming them since I won't be here, but I did want to get this one filmed. So if you don't know, Sip Spy is a tea subscription box. Uh, it is customized for you. So you go on and you take a little like quiz online and you let them know like what flavors you like and what caffeine levels and if you like loose leaf tea or ones that are already in their little baggies and um, they customize the box for you and then as you get the teas you cut they customize it even more because you review the teas that you've gotten and it just helps them tweak the box for you I personally love like the fruity teas and the desserty kind of teas so I get a lot of those so here's mine. It says, Tea Matches for Melanie. Hi, Melanie. As the most wonderful time of year unfolds, filled with festive anticipation, twinkly lights, and indulgent cozy treats, we hope your tea matches infuse an extra layer of warmth, comfort, and joy into your December days. Remember to rate them to enhance your future tea matches, earn points, and unlock free rewards. Cheers, tea team sips by. Okay, so... The first thing I have here is four individual bags of Raspberry Indulgence by Ahmed T. London. They look like that. And this says, uh, it's medium caffeine, bursting with flavor and fragrance of sweet, juicy raspberries. This cleansing black tea is elevated into a heavenly fruity brew. Next, I have four individual bags of Elderberry Citrus Herbal Tea Supplement. Uh, by Zest, Zest Immunity, I guess. Looks like this. And this says, oh, it's an immune support tea. Man, this smells really, really good. Okay, so this is caffeine free. It says nutrient packed tea blend featuring elderberry, zinc, and vitamin C, the perfect daily immunity boost to keep you up and running so you have fewer sick days and more fun days. I might actually take these along on our trip because we don't want sick days while we're traveling. Next, I have 
from Worldwide Botanicals, Organic Sweet Cinnamon. There's four individual bags of this. And this says it's caffeine free. Enjoy a sweet, hot, and spicy herbal tea made from Vietnamese cinnamon, roasted carob, and spices. This tea will satisfy your sweet tooth without any added sugar. This sounds really good. And then the last one we have in here is very interesting looking. This is Midwest Chai by... I can't even pronounce this word. Pfernus Chai. Uh, this is low caffeine. And it comes in like a little Ziploc baggie. And it looks like that. And this is low caffeine. Subtle and smooth, this delicious homage to the classic Mennonite holiday cookie elevates allspice, clove, and cinnamon with hints of anise and nutmeg. It's a warm cookie in a mug. This sounds amazing. I'm excited to try all of these teas. And I'm actually going to put these aside so that I can uh, take them with us because I think these will really be helpful. Okay, so next, I'm pretty sure is an art, and I think I've already gotten this art. Uh, this is from Abrams, and it says Dead Girls Walking on sale March 26th. So this might be something I offer um, as like a blind date with a book for one of my coffee patrons, since I do already have a copy of this. This says, hello, dear reader. Thank you for entering our Dead Girls Walking giveaway in partnership with Y'all Fest. You are one of our lucky winners, and we're so thrilled to share this book with you. Dead Girls Walking is a twisty and chilling YA horror about a girl searching for her dead mother's body at the summer camp that was once her serial killer father's home. In author Sam Elise's own words, fear is universal. We hope you'll be chilled to the bone by this read that's perfect for fans of Friday the 13th and White Smoke. Very cool. Okay, next up I have this package from Amazon. Oh, these are... Um, service dog identification tag and information cards uh I, you know i've seen a lot of videos where um so I, I don't know if many of you know this but snicker is actually though you wouldn't know from seeing him at home he's actually a service dog and has been trained to do uh deep pressure therapy and we're gonna start going into we've been going into like pet friendly places but He's getting to where he can go into not pet friendly places and um, or not animal friendly places, but where service dogs are allowed. And so I have seen other people run into issues with having a service dog that doesn't have a physical like disability where you can see. And they have found that it's very helpful to have cards like these that they can um, provide to people so that they know like what the laws are and things like that and it just says like I'm a service dog and federal law protects my right to accompany my handler and it has like all this information on it so yeah got a little pack of those he has a badge and all that stuff too but yeah. and then I've got a book of the month box and I don't even remember what I picked for this Okay, so our little bookmark here says <laughs> close to the climax, huh? <laughs> Cute. Okay, so I did end up ordering two books. So the first one is The Kingdom of Sweets by Erica Johansson. And this is the glorious transportive reimagining of the Nutcracker. It tells the tale of twin sisters divided by envy and magic and set against each other one fateful Christmas Eve. And then the other one is No One Can Know by Kate Alice Marshall. And this is Three Sisters, Two Murders, and Too Many Secrets to Count. Oh, and then it came with some stickers. These are cute, like little holiday bookish stickers. Okay, and then last but not least, another Amazon package. So, if you watched my other um, haul or mail time where I got um, this power adapter that was a converter, but it said on there like I couldn't use flat iron, curling iron, blow dryer, all this stuff, and I was like, well, 
that was kind of the point of me having it. Uh, so I did actually end up returning that one and I got a different one. Um, this one was a little bit cheaper, but I'm going to let Xander use this one and I'm going to use the other smaller one that um, I had originally gotten for him because apparently my um, curling iron, my straightener, those both are dual voltage, so they can be used in that other adapter without a converter. And then I purchased myself a blow dryer that um, is dual voltage. So this one will actually work with that. So that's cool. And this is a very small one. It um, folds up for easy storage. So it folds like that. So I thought this would be a good one to carry along with me. And then the adapter that I got is Suco 230 watt travel adapter and power converter. And it has um, multiple USB and it's got three regular USB, one USB-C and then two outlets. So it looks like this where the box does. Here, let me open this up. So I don't know if he's actually going to do this, but um, Xander wants to bring along some kind of gaming system with him. Uh, originally, he wanted to bring his big Xbox X, and I'm like, that thing is huge and heavy, and I don't think you should bring that. But I told him if he did want to take a, some kind of small something, he can. And uh, there will be some occasional downtime where we're not wanting to go out and go, go, go. and Because we are going to be doing this for... Oh, oh. Okay, sorry if the lighting has changed, but Einstein just knocked over my tripod and so it's in a different spot now. Um, <laughs> but I have a ring light on a tripod. And so Anyway, um, what was I saying? So he wants to bring a gaming system. Because we're going to be gone for several months... There's going to be some occasional downtime, and he wants to be able to play video games with his friends. So, he's going to need one that he can actually plug that stuff into. And typically, I would, if we were traveling, I would, like, going to Europe or something like that, like we are, I would be like, no, you're not taking a video game. But, because we are going to be gone for, like, half the year, I get it. And he want, th this is a way for him, too, to be able to stay, like, in contact with his friends. This one is also significantly smaller and lighter than the other one that I had originally picked up. Like, this is, as far as, like, size of my hand. There's a little power button right there. And it comes with this cool little mesh drawstring bag we can put it all in and then this part of the plug plugs into the device this part plugs into uh, an outlet I think it's in the EU um, but then we also have these different adapters that you can use you can plug it into that so like here's one for plug using it in the US um, they all just attach to each other which is pretty neat and then all of this can go inside the little bag. He can he can even actually fit some other stuff in there. So like he could put all his like charging cables and stuff in this if he wanted. Okay, so I think that was the last of the stuff. I don't know. There there could always be another mini mail time that I have to do like right before we leave, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!